Hey everybody, I'm the Frosty Four. Welcome back to Firewatch. In the first episode, I found some naked girls, and I took some stuff from them because you know, it was illegal. And in the second episode, they broke my shit, and they snapped a telephone wire. So now I have to figure out how to fix this. So let's jump back in. She said to see if I could try to find the path they took down. Well, here's another beer can. There's another beer can. Is this gonna be a trail? Huh, <laughs> this should be easy. All I have to do is follow the fucking beer cans. What's this? There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. I guess so. Let's see, what's in here? Oh, uh, I'm blind. Well, hey. I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Hmm. What, was he a fella you had a thing with? Hmm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. Ugh. I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. You guys keep in touch, you and the Goodwin kid? Nah, they took off pretty unceremoniously. Plus, <laughs> what's a 40-year-old woman gonna do with a teenage pen pal? Hmm, good point. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. <laughs> I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve, it's your man Ron. I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for... L.O.'s. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? Excuse me? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted, except for us, of course, for the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. So some dude's over here jerking off in a hammock. Alright. It says to use a disposable camera. Hey, sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and... Yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. We don't really need to talk about this stuff, right? Well, what would you prefer? Uh, literally anything. Do you want to know about the homeopathic remedy for yeast infections I came up with last summer? No! Okay, never mind. You're lost, pal. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? Uh, chain link fence yeah it looks like it surrounds a huge area huh that's weird do you think those girls could be behind this fence mm, well having once been an ornery young woman the last thing i would do is climb a fence especially if i knew i was in trouble i, I don't even know how i would get in it's really strange that that's out there by the way yeah what it's weird You don't know about a fence in your own park? Well, okay. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. 
From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm, you're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there, as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Well, there were some beer cans for a while, and then they kind of tapered off, so I don't really have anything to go off of. I take it you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort when it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? I saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck? What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. Fuck you, lady. Uh, something like that? Now, well, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. Glad it worked. What happened last summer that accounted for this, um, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Yellowstone is, like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. And what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't going to burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? Holy shit! People don't want to touch it. It's a lot. we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down again. Hey, do you see that? No, but... Uh... Maybe. See what, exactly? Oh. I can barely make it out, but there's a small wisp of smoke way down to the southwest. You should be able to find a way over there from the meadow by the lake. Towards Five Mile Creek, it's in the southwest quadrant of your map. Well, you, you think it's those girls? I'm pretty sure it's a campfire, so yeah. I'd call that a safe bet. Man, they really do not give a shit, do they? <sighs> not a one. Alright, I guess I'm going down there. Aha! Bro. Really? Not gonna report that? Alright. Well, I did find these beer cans at least. Now to find those girls. Oh my god, there's just so much shit everywhere! Am I getting paid per beer can? There's a big reason why I don't like to go hiking. It's so easy to find yourself stuck in a dead end. When I was a kid, I grew up in Colorado, um, strangely enough, where this game is set, and there was a forest fire when I was a kid, and it was so thick that it turned the moon and the sun red. And everyone was like, oh, it's the signs of the end times. I'm like, no, it's a sign of a fucking forest fire. Because some lady... Decided to go into the forest and burn some love notes from her husband. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that, guys. It is nice down here. But I do worry about that smoke. I don't think that's the sun setting. I'm pretty sure that's just, uh... Or maybe I'm just an idiot and it's just kind of red down here. Aha! I found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. Clean it up. Get my, uh, my good Boy Scout points. Oh, what's this? Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Hmm. Wait, isn't this where I'm supposed to go? Bruh. This is exactly where I'm supposed to be. I guess I need to look around for some smoke. She saw the smoke. I didn't see any smoke. That's a cloud. All I see are clouds. What am I going to do? Fucking climb the waterfall? A lot of fucking salmon. Gotta be so close to them right now. 
Found it. But they're not here. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... Yes. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Plus, I found this tent. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Uh, yeah, it's not. Maybe the- ooh. Yeah, the tent's all fucked up. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. Yeah. Let me know what it says. Uh. Oh, they're gone for sure. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? No? No, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is... I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's it's okay, I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers, they could be having a bad mushroom trip, we really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. So now what? Oh, day three, okay. Oh, you're not going to make me walk all the way back to the tower? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, find boards downstairs to patch window. All right. I can do that. Run, run, run. This guy always has to jump over these stairs. Because he's a fucking hey, badass. Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why I'm are you asking? Tall, dark, and handsome. Because I'm horribly superficial. Why did I do that? I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in People he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. It's okay, true. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. The I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Tuxedos, as often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. They told me to get these fucking society. boards. Mm, good to know, dear, yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. Well, a pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is is that okay? No, uh, it's creepy. Don't <laughs> don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Okay. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. They look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. 
But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. So I look like Tom Cruise with tired eyes. I mean, we know what Henry really looks like. But apparently she's going to have this whole fantasy about me. Story's weird. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Okay. Yeah. I can, I can do that. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Sure. Just throw it on there, it'll be okay. You know, I'm gonna hike around for a while before I really put my nose to the grindstone. Oh, yeah, you do that. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's get to work. How are those precious few seconds of jobless freedom? Oh, magical. Good. Now get to work. I guess. Holy shit, that scared me. Day nine, we kind of skipped a little bit there. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Uh, I... You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Wait, dude! Time jumping. Okay. Bro. Henry? Yes. Henry, wake up. Yes. What? Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Yes, honey. Hey there, Delilah. I was sleeping so soundly. What and do you want? You woke me up. You big dumb idiot. Are you drunk? You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. It's mm, Julia? I am. Are you having a nice time? The fuck? Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Oh, that's too bad. Mm hmm. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm not talking oh, to Julia. I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Is that her? Right there? Bye, baby. Okay. Well, I'm really spending a lot of time here. Is okay. it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Yes. Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. 
It should be great at the Is it constipated? Wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Are we done? Okay, let's try that again. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this up. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and... Okay, so I'm sleep talking. Just spoiling it. Is there anything else you want to tell me about her? Fuck it. No, there's nothing else. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Javier! He's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. A driller, huh? We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School and... Fuck it. I'm gonna keep walking. With it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was gonna marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And <sighs> for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So, I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. You haven't told me anything about you, and that's okay. But, uh, there you go. There's a whole lot about me. Okay. Are we really done this time? Like, really? So, let's try this a third time. I'm going to go ahead and put this episode here, Delilah. If you thought it was awesome, please don't like and subscribe for videos for me. And I'll see you next time. But until then, Delilah, stay frosty.